Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura. And have you ever used this incredible tape? It is a tape that sticks to itself. It has no adhesive. It's not like a scotch tape. There's a lot of good things to use this tape for. You can use it for a lot of things outside of the sewing room, but there are a lot of things you can use it for in the sewing room. Now what I like about the incredible tape is it sticks to itself. And you can use it to wrap all of your spools of thread so that the thread doesn't get tangled in the drawer. But there's a lot of other uses for it. I like to use it to wrap up my cords. And because it only sticks to itself, it's not an adhesive. It doesn't leave a sticky residue on my cords or on my thread. There's lots of uses for this. But it sticks to itself so well that sometimes it's hard for me to get hold of the ends to unwrap it. So I have found a solution. I like to take something and cover the end so it doesn't stick to itself. Let me show you. When you get the tape, it is very transparent. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your roll of incredible tape and the first edge you're going to cover with another tape. Now you can get lots of these rolls of feels like scotch tape and they have a beautiful pattern on it. And I cover the first end with the tape folding over onto itself. So I trim the tape so it's the same size as the tape itself. Then as I unroll the length that I want, before I cut it, I'm going to put it on top of the decorative tape. Fold the tape back over to itself, trim the sticky tape off, and I will cut through the center. So the next time, I'll know exactly where to begin. So with the addition of some decorative tape to go along with your incredible tape, you will always be able to find the beginning and the ends of the incredible tape. I keep it together all in a bag so it's always handy when I need it. I'll put a link in the description to the incredible tape that I use from Marathon Threads and as always thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe and as always come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now!